Kansas City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. Get started, it's time for Hot Topic. Today is Valentine's Day. I don't know what that means to you. It's never really meant anything to me past maybe fifth grade, you know, when your mom buys you the, and you, the um, boxes with the hearts that say stuff, and then you exchange them in the classroom. That's when it means stuff. Now it doesn't really mean anything. But um, this is what I love about any day, not just Valentine's Day. I gotta tell you something, okay. I'm gonna share something with you. I have these, um, I've had flowers from this company. They're called Fleur de Paris. And, and I've been having these for years now. I discovered them here on Wendy. The flowers smell exactly like roses. As you can see, these are roses. Look, they dye them to all kinds of colors. If you want bright yellow, if you want the color of my seat cushions here in the audience, that blue, if you want black, you know, if you want black and white, it's, it's crazy how that lab thing is working, not just with the food. <laughs> and the, the, the animals and stuff. But it's also working with the flowers. Now, this particular um, one right here, I'm gonna tell you something about these. Well, not this particular one, but I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so. Um, I have them in various stages in my apartment, and I can tell you right now, they travel very well. Here's, here's the bottom. All I do is pop this back up, take them back home. Listen, you don't have to water them. See, this is good for somebody like me, uh, yeah. right? They, um, they cost a little bit more than your average uh, flowers, I will not lie to you, than your average roses, but they last a year, that's what they say. However, I have a big one in my apartment, it's red. I've had it for one year and seven months. Uh-huh, uh, I never watered it. Right. Chit-chatting my way, don't mess around with it. <laughs> the place always, well I've got a few big ones, but this particular one is the oldest one, a year and seven months, imagine that. So they have various sizes from you know this size to this size to this size. They got the ones that puff over the top. Fleur de Paris, all I'm saying, uh, studio audience, uh, friends of mine and co-host, you're all getting a $100 gift card. <laughs> this will be your starter set. This is, this is look, this is your starter set, right? But, but let me tell you something, depending on the size of your room, it's gonna puff it up, make it smell like, that's what I'm saying. What a mess. Um, I like your Valentine's necklace. So it's a day of love, you know, Ben Affleck is looking for love on the internet. Oh. 
Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I always tell you, and I've told you this since before, you know, I got divorced. If you're looking for love, there's nothing wrong with sh shopping on the internet. I mean, the best kind of love that you could possibly have would be the one that you meet eye to eye, you know, like you're in the grocery store, you're at the bowling alley, or you're on the bus, or you're driving in the traffic, you look over, he looks hot, beep, beep, you know what I mean? But these days, we're all so busy trying to pay bills and catch up with life, you gotta go on the internet sometimes. So Ben is on the internet, and the millionaire matchmaker, Patty Stanger, now you know I love Patty, but Patty, you are dead wrong for this. All right, well, she saw Ben's profile on this dating app for wealthy people. It's called Raya, R-A-Y-A. -A. If, you if your numbers don't match, don't even try it. Okay, um, but look, look, so Raya accepts like wealthy actors or hedge fund people or the cardiologist or you know, the person who won the lottery for $500 million and now has a difficult time dating. And I don't mind that. No, I'm not on Raya. But, um, and, and thanks to Patty, I wouldn't um, want to be involved. Patty, here's the thing, Patty, and you know I like you, but Patty, um, and you look beautiful there, by the way. Uh, but Patty went on Raya, said she sees Ben's pictures all over. She outs Ben for being a part of Raya. The, the thing about exclusive websites, you know, for people in Ben's category is, you're not supposed, to, like you, John Q. Public, you're not supposed to know that he's there. Not because he's ashamed, just because he's trying to vet you out. <laughs> he's trying to date his own. You know, girls who have that money and you know, aren't gonna feel funny and everything. Patty, why did you do that to him? If I were Ben, I would immediately pull my profile off Raya and I would immediately, uh, Raya, uh, we need to, to figure out why Patty has a big mouth. She, she's culpable for this. Ben, I'd want all my money back from Raya. Not that you need it, but just to make a point. Norman. Yes. What is she doing? I, running her mouth. Like, <laughs> keep it quiet. We wouldn't even know about this because none of us are on Raya. It's Patty who went on Raya and now tells us Ben's on Raya. Right. And then there was a discussion in our Hot Topics meeting. Um, would you date Brad knowing that he's on Raya? And I said, yeah, for a month. You know, I don't, I, I feel like Brad's a real complicated guy. And I, and in my mind, I want the Brad who's with JLo. Uh, ben, I mean. <laughs> same difference. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Smile, you're on cricket. But I get off Raya and there's so many websites of, um, um, or dating apps of various degrees of people. You know, you got the regular people ones, then you got the medium people ones, then you got the high net worth ones, and then you got the billionaire ones. You know what I mean? And, um, but Patty, you know what? That's probably why Bravo canceled your show. <laughs> you just talk too much. Just saying, just, just saying. <laughs> and it repeats a lot on the weekends. I don't know about you, I tend to wake up early even on the weekends and I see it in repeats and you know, um, I looked, I remember a few weeks ago just to see, all right, well, what do you call a millionaire in the Millionaire Matchmaker show? Because in the beginning, it was strangers and we all fell for it, everybody's a millionaire. But there's certain people that go on that show, I'm like, okay, all right. He's on there, she's on there. Let me look up their net worth, $200,000. You know, $1 million. $1 million does not make you uh, qualify for Millionaire Matchmaker. You're thinking that's a million dollars that is just thrown over there for the, your, to play, the, for the kids to play around with. Anyway. We gotta hurry up with this show because I'm about to bust out all the um, stretchy in this dress. <laughs> honey, 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 you have no idea what is going on, right? And Willie tied it in the front, tied it in the back. Look, it, look, it, he had to get an industrial strength zipper. Wait, hold on, let me turn around. 
No, 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 no. I can barely breathe. <laughs> but you know, I don't wear the Spanx, so this is all me. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Everyone, and here's the thing also, like a lot of people um, who are famous people like Ben and stuff and those people, they, um, they ask their publicists and their agents and people like that to call up the other famous person and then they hook it up which is even better than doing a dating um, app because then people like Patty Stanger aren't involved with the sauce and then you just date. And I'm not gonna lie to you and I'm not gonna say his name because I found out he was married, but anyway. Oh yes, true story. Uh, I'm at home minding my own business just yesterday. No idea about this Ben story until, you know, I got here today. Suzanne? What's going on? There's a guy named Joey. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna say his last name. Okay. He's, he's talking to um, Mehmet. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, okay. Okay, he's talking to Mehmet on the TV. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this guy Joey before, mm -hmm. even during married life, and I was like, oh. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I've seen him before on TV, like he's really smart. He has several layers of degrees. He's Coco Brown. Yeah, uh-huh, he's from New York, talks Ooh. real. He talks that talk that I like, but he's real smart, huh? right? He's sitting there with Mehmet, but he's flailing and he's making his point and his suit looks good and his skin looks good and his hair looks good, but he's flailing. And I, you know, sometimes when you flare your arms too much, you can't see a wedding ring. Oh. Oh. Oh! Bring! Oh. Bounty. Mm -hmm. I've never done this before. But, and however, can you get on the Wikipedia right now and tell me, is, is this man married? <laughs> well, you know, Bernie is not as quick. Just, Bernie and I are birds of a feather. We flock together. Uh, so Bernie looks, he says, um, well, Wikipedia says he's, he graduated from here. He's from here. I said, Bernie, I don't need to know that stuff. <laughs> get to the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie says, well, um, he divorced in 2014. I said, perfect. Now look, Bernie, is your TV on? He said, no, I didn't turn the TV on. I can't find the remote. So now Bernie doesn't even see the, the arms flailing and everything. Then the segment is over. I'm like, well, look, I didn't, you know, just cause you divorced in 2014 doesn't mean you're still single. I'm not trying to bust up homes. I'm not that girl, but. <laughs> so Bernie can sense me being, you know, a little like, come on, I don't know how to do it. I have to hang up the whole phone to talk to you. I, like, come on. I said, does he have kids? What's going on with this guy? How tall is he? Well, you know, do something. Anyway, it turns out today in our Hot Topics meeting, Norman Googled, it. he's younger than me and Burns. And what did you find out, Norman? I found, I saw, I had to zoom in and I did see a wedding ring. And when was that picture taken, Northman? It was like, like a couple weeks ago. It could be over. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Suzanne goes, it could be over soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I still want her to be a part of um, the uh, 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 yeah. here at the show. Uh huh. Just, not for that. Yeah, I know. Just because he's smart. Right. Like he's good for he's good for my people. Right. And so you know, I'll I'll relax. But um, you get but that yeah. invitation out quick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't stand Justin Bieber's mustache, and you know what? <laughs> I, I I can't I can't deal with. I just. I just can't deal with it. He looks like a freak. He looks weird with it. 
for the girls who buy the hair and we go to the wig stores and buy the hair, and you could buy eyebrows and eyelashes and mustaches and stuff. Did you ever look in the mustache case and see mustaches that look like that? Like what man is gonna wear that other than to go on a disguise if he doesn't want people to know who he is? I just feel like he's, and I'm not the only one. His wife Haley hates it too. So, but, well clap if you like it. Don't do it. Sit down. Don't give him camera time. No, nope, sit down. You got your close up, sir. Share the spotlight with your other co host. So, you know, the question is should he shave off the must? Should you shave off your mustache if your wife doesn't like it? Well, you wanna know what? That's what Mean Bookman said in the Hot Topics Bureau, you know, woman of my age, you know, and we go back and forth, right? Bookman said, yes, shave it off. Bookman's got beautiful hair, right? She's a woman of a particular age. It's thick, all natural. It hangs like to here. It always looks great. It's wavy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Bookman. Well, if you were married, which she's not, that's okay. She's a, a long-time long boyfriend. Well, she's not married. N no, but she's had a long-time boyfriend for yes. over a decade. Yes. Uh, All right. Maybe almost okay. the same thing, except without the paperwork and complication. <laughs> but here's my thing, right? So I, so I said to Bookman, I said, okay, um, so. I'm the only one who disagrees with you all. He shouldn't shave it off. You wanna know why? First of all, it's just hair. Second of all, this is your wife. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you've already invested in each other. You got that nasty paperwork. <laughs> Let him have fun with his look. No, I don't like the mustache either, but there are things sometimes that our spouses or long-term partners do that maybe we don't like. I say to Bookman, I said, look at all that luscious hair. It's your crown and glory. If your hus uh, boyfriend asked, told you, comes home and says, you know what? I saw Charlize Theron and you know that hair over your ears that you tuck back, cut at your kitchen? That's sexy. Bookman, I guess he doesn't call her Bookman. <laughs> Bookman, make, give me a Charlize Theron, would you do it? She said, oh, no, you're right. I said, exactly. I mean, it's just hair, but you know, once a woman of a particular age cuts off hair like that, it's not coming back. And this little boy right here, he can cut off that mustache and grow it back when he wants. And Haley uh, Bieber, um, you know, it's just, I don't like it either. I, and nobody here likes it either, but he's just having fun with his look. And I guess that's all a part of, it's just hair. It's not like a tattoo. It's not like a piercing. It's just hair. I'm a little disturbed. <laughs> well, first of all, Andrews is here taking pictures and I'm not posing properly. Andrews, do you, are you getting everything? Because when the show's over, I'm going home. Are you serious? It's Valentine's Day. Me and the cats, we're gonna have a good old time. I've, I've chosen to be with no one. I can't, stupid day. I did have a visitor though who brought me this. Aww. He's gonna come by later. Uh, and now, oh, 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 uh oh. <laughs> Brendan, you saw him backstage. I did, I saw him, yes. Mm hmm. He didn't even knock on my office door. He was just standing there at the chapel waiting for me. He, was waiting, yeah. he looked very handsome. Yes. And he bought me two different hearts. And he said, which one do you like best? And I like a puffed heart. And so, you witnessed it. Yeah. Brendan. Yeah, I saw it. Mm -hmm. You picked the right one. What, man or heart? Uh, both. Both.
I'm not committing to Valentine's Day though, cause people get all washed up in that thing. And he's not romantical either, but it's just weird spending Valentine's Day with somebody that you're not, you know what I'm saying? This is not a good first date night or a third date. Uh, 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 uh. Go out tomorrow. Anyway, um, there was some more I had to tell you, but they're telling me that this is over? Yeah. Co-host, just <laughs> grab a snack and come on back.